All right, I found a 12 gallon rigid shop vac. Rigid is Home Depot's brand. It's five horsepower. <laughs> There's a slight smell of electrical burning. I'm gonna take it apart, get to the motor, clean it up, and see if that helps. See if I can get some more life out of this. Based on how dirty this is, it's obvious that they've been running it without a filter. So that's probably not good for the motor. The impeller, as you can see, was clogged up with some stuff that the filter would have caught. Maybe that played a part in the burning smell. Maybe the motor was overheating because it was clogged up. So that's why you don't run your shop back without a filter. This nut is a half inch. We can see the brushes. There's one on either side, and these brushes are spring-loaded so that they press against the commutator, I believe it's called. And they wear down over time, the brushes do, but these have plenty of life left in them. The two brushes being spring-loaded, they just snap together in the middle. So when I get everything cleaned up and reinstall this, I'll have to separate the brushes so that I can slide the commutator between them. I'm going to clean the commutator and try to get this down to a bright coppery finish. And I'm gonna do that with some electrical contact cleaner and sandpaper. Planning to run it for about 20 minutes. It's about how long it takes to vacuum up a car. You'd have it running continuously. That is right at 20 minutes and no burning smell. The only thing I smell is three-in-one oil. So I cleaned this trash out of the impeller. I lubricated both sets of bushings or bearings, whatever those were, using three-in-one oil. And I cleaned the commutator using anti-corrosive lubricant spray and 220 grit sandpaper. And that led to this improvement. Here's before and after. <laughs> So I got the trash out, lubed it up, cleaned it up, and it appears to be fine now. So what do I do about a filter? Because whoever threw it away, threw it away without a filter and without a hose. I'm gonna use an old Hanes ankle high sock. It is the perfect size to fit very tightly and leave enough room down at the bottom so that I can put a zip tie on it to hold it on tight. Saved from the trash, because that's where I found this put out by the curb. Took it apart, cleaned it up.
and it seems to have new life. I still need a hose and I don't want to buy one because that's going to cost between $25 and $30. So I'm going to try to make one myself. If I do, if I'm successful, I'll make a video out of that. And right up here in the top left corner, that video will show you how to clean the commutator. That's the video that I followed. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.